A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Tuesday, March 14th. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. Calling the Orange County Industrial Development Agency a runaway train, State Senator James Scoofus has introduced in the proposed state budget a provision that would create one or two state-appointed monitors to oversee the county agency. Scoofus said taxpayers are looking for smart growth and development, not giveaways of local funds for businesses that would locate in the county, even without a financial incentive. The monitor would be able to override any decisions related to incentives that come out of the Orange County IDA. If the monitor feels that the IDA is not acting in the best interest of taxpayers, when they're offering a payment in lieu of taxes, property tax breaks, sales tax breaks, the monitor can step in and override that decision. The monitor can pull items from an agenda so they don't even get voted on in the first place. The bill would also impose operational changes in the IDA's uniform tax exemption policy. Police in the city of Port Jervis have arrested a 36-year-old local man following a lengthy investigation into drug trafficking in the Port Jervis area. The investigation began after an overdose-related death in May 2022. That investigation by the Port Jervis Detective Bureau and Orange County District Attorney's Office. As a result of the investigation, police arrested Ralph Mann on a felony charge of criminal sale of a controlled substance. Major motion pictures, as well as many, for the emerging streaming services are being shot in counties up and down the valley. The latest economic figures to come out are from Westchester County, says Tourism and Film Office Director Natasha Caputo. It generates over $1.1 billion of economic activity throughout Westchester County. The report also showed that the industry supports, supported and supports over 3,784 jobs. That's well over $360 million of wages here within the county. Caputo says the production days are over 1,200 days of filming in the county, surpassing the pre-pandemic levels. A 46-year-old Middletown man is in the Orange County Jail in lieu of $250,000 bail following a violent attack on another man in the city. Minutes after 11 a.m. on Sunday, Middletown police received a call reporting a fight in the area of 8 to 10 East Main Street. Desk officer Sergeant Jordan McInerney saw a man on top of another man on the sidewalk violently assaulting him. Officers responded to the scene where they found an Asian man on the sidewalk bleeding profusely from significant facial injuries. Police administered first aid to the victim while others searched for the suspect, identified as David Johnson. He was located hiding in a second floor maintenance closet in an apartment at 14 East Main Street and property belonging to the victim was located on him. Johnson is a level two sex offender currently registered with the Middletown Police Department with a felony conviction for sexual abuse. Spring is just around the corner and so is the Easter Bunny. He's hopping by the Galleria at Crystal Run, arriving Friday, March 17th, and he'll stay until it's time to deliver all those decorated eggs and yummy chocolates. Get your picture taken with Mr. Peter Cottontail. Children, families, even pets are welcome. And now you can make an appointment ahead of time at whereisbunny.com. Reservations are strongly encouraged. Go to GalleriaCrystalRun.com for all the details. Months after the state said it would move its Sullivan County Health Department office to Orange County, the state announced it has opened a new office in the town of Liberty. Members of the county legislature were vocal in their opposition to closure of a county office. Now, with the announced location of a new field office in the county public health office at 50 Community Lane in Liberty, Legislature Chairman Rob Doherty said lawmakers are pleased that they were able to negotiate a mutually agreed upon solution that keeps the State Department of Health office presence in Sullivan County, which he called a critical imperative. Westchester Medical Center Health Network, WMC Health, and its Health Alliance Hospital in Kingston have reached an agreement with the New York State Nurses Association 
for a three-year contract to benefit more than 200 nurses at the hospital. The agreement comes just a few months after a contract settlement between the Nurses Union and WMC Health's Westchester Medical Center in Valhalla. The ratified contract in Kingston, which is retroactive to January 1st of this year, delivers what the hospital calls substantial annual wage increases for all nurses and expands the increases for long-tenured nurses. The appellate division of state Supreme Court has denied the appeal of convicted cocaine trafficker Ricardo Almenteros. The 57-year-old is serving a sentence of 12 years in prison and five years of parole after being convicted of two counts of criminal possession of a controlled substance in August 2018. In Ulster County Court, he was convicted after state troopers discovered just under three pounds of cocaine hidden in his vehicle when he was stopped during a traffic stop on I-87 in Platakill. The driver and the second passenger, the convict's son and stepson, were also arrested. Both of those men pled to a lesser charge in 2018 and implicated Almonteros during their allocutions. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.